Here. Late. Okay. Oftentimes, the more you think about other options, the other ideas you get. Hey, Mr. Schmidt. Good. I don't want guys going, you know, right under the bird. Exactly, exactly. Just doing a straight line shot. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Cacnio, I got it. Yes! Haha! <laughs> I find. Because I've already achieved all of my, my requirements from, from my elective courses, I was able to be a TA this year and just get, get a chance to decompress a little bit and getting a chance to develop a relationship with some of the faculty members. Mr. Borfield? No, how are you? Good. Good. Nice, for sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. Academically, spiritually, and physically, and you know, basketball has taken taking on most of that, that physical part, and the coaching staff are all phenomenal. I, Coach Adams is someone I'll be friends with the rest of my life. He's just, just a phenomenal person to be around. I'm sorry, I have to kind of solve this. Point of this cube isn't to just keep it solved and leave it on your desk, right? This puzzle is meant to be um, solved again and reshuffled. Just like when you succeed, you don't stop at that one level. You have to broaden your mind. You have to find out, oh, there's another level ahead of me. There's another um, echelon that I have to reach and that I haven't reached yet. One of the things I've learned from Loyola is that failure is indefinite. Um, everyone makes mistakes and you have to learn from them because the only way you'll really fail is if you quit and if you never give in whatever you're trying to succeed in a try. No matter who you are here on campus, you have an opportunity to express yourself and feel important in your own way or in a campus-wide way. We can't submit it late because last time it didn't get here until like 10.30 in the morning. With the newspaper, I know with how much autonomy we have running the paper, I mean, it's actually a student-run production. I have to kind of manage things from the writer level all the way up to dealing with administration. It's a very tight-knit community where not only does everyone want to see each other do well, but um, we all want to help each other kind of get to the best place that we can all be. The aspect that really speaks to me the most is the community service aspect because I think that we have a calling in our lives to take our gifts that God has given us and give back to people. They really elevate the level of, of your academics um, and so to, to, to have to balance that uh, with, with how hard I'm working at basketball and a little bit of social life and um, you know maintaining my, my spirituality is you know it, it's not easy. They want you to succeed and they'll see if you're not really putting in your best effort, they'll try their best to bring it out of you and they will try until you eventually do succeed. The sense of brotherhood, oh, I mean you can see it right there, hey Alex. The sense of brotherhood is, it's so tight-knit. The fact that we support each other in our athletic, academic, co-curricular endeavors, I think that's something that like to sum it all up, it's just a huge support system. The school really functions as a second home for me, and not just because I spend so much time here, but because a lot of the relationships that I have with teachers, with the other students, that have really kind of helped me define who I am. There's no need to worry about who you'll become because Loyola will definitely shape you into a person you want to see yourself as. When they come here, the person that they walk in as is not the person that they're going to walk out as when, uh, when they walk across the stage to receive their diploma. My name is Henry Welsh. My name is Pablo Munoz. My name is Jun Sang. My name is Alonzo Phillips. What kind of man will you be? What kind of man will you be? What kind of man will you be? What kind of man will you be?